What's up, Mortgage Coach community? Dave Savage, and today I am interviewing Taylor Winkler. And Taylor, welcome to the Mortgage Coach community. Thank you. I'm new here. Yeah, this is the first time I've interviewed you. A good friend of mine, Tony Blodgett, said that uh, you're killing it with Mortgage Coach, and I need to I need to interview you for the Mortgage Coach channel. Yeah. What questions do you have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I guess we, we met, what, about four four or five months ago? Well, it was pre-COVID, so it must have been. Yeah, yeah. I think it was February. We met in Oregon, and then Tony told me that you do this thing called Mortgage Coach, and I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that. I don't want to pay 90 bucks a month or whatever it is. Right. Um, anyways, I'm doing it now, and it's definitely worth the $90. <laughs> right on. Well, I think that's that's the story I wanted to tell, because Pre-COVID, you were not using Mortgage Coach. Sometime in the past three months, you decided to start using Mortgage Coach. And I, I, you know, when we do this interview, I think there's a lot of folks that are like, oh, I tried it and it was too hard. Or I've heard about it, but I'm not doing it. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want this just to be a, a sales pitch for Mortgage Coach. I want it to be tactical so people get scripts and ideas. But let's, let's just start off with your mortgage practice. Tell us where you're at. Tell us what kind of production you're doing. And then we'll get into how Mortgage Coach fits into all that. Sure. So uh, I was at Guild Mortgage as a junior loan officer for about four years and then joined NAF last June. And now I'm independent. Um, I don't know. I close around seven loans a month. Um, nice. kind of been my average. And I'm growing. I'm getting coaching. And now I have this cool new tool that's been helping me. Uh, got to be Mortgage Coach. So yeah, I'm excited for growth, especially right now, you know, being 2020 and there's a lot of negativity, I suppose, this mortgage coach and just the opportunities in our career has given me a lot of encouragement. That's, that's awesome. So, so, yeah. so four years as a, as a loan officer assistant. Junior, and so, yeah. And so just, well, it's, kinda, my loans closed in my branch manager's name. It was it. a unique setup, but anyways, I'm independent now and I'm growing my team here at NAF. And what kind of production do you think you'll do for the year? Like, what do you think your volume will be? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. Maybe around 22 million, if I had to guess. Yeah, that's that's what I thought when I saw your numbers. And Tony would kill me. <laughs> yeah. Well, so first of all, c congratulations to be in your first full-time year as an independent loan officer and you know, be over 20 million. I mean, that's incredible success. And at this stage in your career to be doing seven loans a month, that's incredible success. So, so let's talk about why, you know, why did you adopt mortgage coach aside from your coach, Tony, saying you need to do it, but what was it that clicked in your mind that said, okay, I'm going to do this thing. Well, I'm really good at closing clients when I meet in person. I, love people and I love educating people and when the COVID stuff started and I'm working from home and clients aren't seeing me in person I know I needed to do something quickly to adapt to the times and so I thought you know now's a great time to start Mortgage Coach because I know you can implement video into your presentation so that you can still build rapport with the client and so that's why I started it. So I know personal, I needed something. So personal connection, COVID, yes. less personal connection. I need to amplify my humanity and connection. Now, yeah. One question I didn't ask you, what's the mix refi versus purchase? What percentage of your business is um, purchase versus refi? I think like average maybe, well, lately it's been heavier on refi. 50-50, give or 50, take. 50-50, okay, yeah. cool. But you, and you're doing a TCA on both purchases and refis, is that right? Oh, it's a TCA. Total cost analysis. Oh, yes. Told you I'm new here. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're, we're figuring it out together. This is a, a, again, you're less than three months using a mortgage coach, and that's what this interview is all about. So, yeah. so let's talk about how you adopted it. Like, how did you get started? You know, once you decided, okay, I need to do this, what was your, how you started using mortgage coach? Um, I had my assistant show me <laughs> how to do it. I know you have all the videos, but I'm a very hands-on learner. So he showed me how to input everything. And it, my concern was it's going to take too much time. But it doesn't because you only have to set up the loan one time and then you can just copy the loan. So you don't have to do the fees every time. Um, I'd say it takes me 10 minutes to put together a total cost analysis, which is way quicker than 
a 60 minute in-person consult at my office with a client. Nope. No, no doubt. Well, I can see that you've done it 31 times over the past uh, 30 days. Why don't you, cool. let's do this. Let's, well, I want to do, before you share your desktop and we look uh -huh. at the TCA, and I also want to see how many total you created in our okay. gamification module, but what, what do you say to the customer before you give them the total cost analysis? What's your scripting sound like and how do you position it? When I take the application, I tell them during my application scripting, hey, I'm gonna send you a total cost analysis, or actually, I don't say total cost analysis, that's a new word for me. I, I tell them a mor mortgage coach analysis. I tell them I'm gonna send them a mortgage coach analysis, it's gonna come through as a link, I want you to click on it. There's like a one minute video on there, just as an introduction. Call me after you watch it so we can chat. And that's really all I use for scripting. And how, what, what percent click on it? Like how many of the clients that you tell to do that actually do that? 100%. Beautiful. So takeaway for everybody listening to this, because I've had a lot of loan officers say, I give the link and no one's clicking on it. It's because you're not framing it well. It's, oh, yeah. I tell them to do it. Yeah, I tell them to do it. My income's on the line. <laughs> I know I'll get the deal if they click on the link. So I tell them to click on the link. And if they don't, I follow up and I'm like, click on the link. <laughs> it's important. Right so the, it's great for them, but it's also great for me. So I'm pushy about it. I love that. Well, I, I would call it push. I'd call it being a leader. You're, yeah, you're creating, we'll you're, go with that. You're, you're controlling the sales process. You're leading the client yeah. with a lot of confidence and passion. And, and you know now that if they click that link, you, you got yourself alone. So let's do that. Let's, let's pull up a TCA. Uh, what you're going to be seeing, guys, is if the family clicked on the link, you're going to see a total cost analysis. And let's just look at what, an example of what you've given to a client and, and how you walked them through that. Yep, there you got your video. I, I think the lighting was awful. I look very tan. I'm not that tan. That was yesterday, by the way. <laughs> Anyways. <Love it. laughs> um, so, yeah. Do you want me to play the video? or? No, you don't need to play the video. I am going to ask you what you say, but let's, okay. let's just go through the scenario. Tell us the story. Because I always tell, tell people it's not about the technology. It's about yeah. the story. So there's a family story, and there's a reason you put these rates in. Tell us the story and explain the strategy here. Uh, I think I grabbed the wrong one, but I can tell you the story. So these are clients that were pre-approved at BECU. Uh, their agent is a broker at Redfin. Uh, they're, they got their offer accepted on a house in Bothell uh, for 585. They were quoted 3.5% at BECU and they wanted to see if I could do better. And I said, I can do better. I'm going to show you other ways to save money. Um, Cause I think BECU just gave him like one option and quoted a rate. This guy's credit score is not great. He had like a 698. So I was like three and a half is actually not too bad. But um, before I sent this presentation, I actually sent another one. I did 20, 30 or 20, 25 and 30% down options for 30 year fix. And I put a 15 year fix option cause the rate was like two and a half percent. I said, call me when you get this. So he called me, we talked. Um, I also added the reinvestment strategy in here and we decided it was actually best to do the 20% down. So he appreciated that I gave him that sort of advice over BECU that encouraged him to put 30% down. Hey, let's uh, wait, time out, go back to that, click on the more information. Cause guys, this is where it goes from price to advice. She, she gave yeah. the family options. It'll and I won the deal. This was yesterday. I won the deal because I gave them more options. Yeah, you gave them options, advice. Yeah. You, you showed them different down payment options. And while it looks like you've taken that out now, but you could have I, said, hey, yeah. let's put less down and then you let's keep it in the bank at whatever rate of return you're getting. And again, you, you help them make a more confident decision. You go ahead and close that out now. Yeah. And then, and then I noticed, you know, you did a comparison for 60 months in 15 years. But were those just the defaults or did you customize yep. those for the family? I, I meant to preface this conversation with something's working, <laughs> but I do not know all the correct buttons to push. So I'm here for coaching too. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> those are defaults. Let's, well, let's, let's do something here real quick then. Let's okay. go to the actual advice engine, you know, keep sharing your screen. And that's the input, like you may not know, there you go. So a okay. couple, couple things I want to call out, like go to analysis, go to the analysis, just down a couple tabs. There you go, click on that. 
So a couple things, guys. You could have customized the term. Instead of 60 months, it could have been 36 months. It could have been 70 months. So whatever is right. relevant to the client. And then I also want you to go down to see where it says long-term chart type. Like when you go to net worth. So this is, uh, been a good one. this is particularly powerful if you were to say, hey, look at one option and you either prepay the mortgage or, hey, look at this option and you invest the difference. It starts, again, you're not just giving loans with rates, monthly payments. You're showing people how different loans over different periods of time that are relevant to them, how they perform on their net worth. So just be intentional. Like we give you the option. As you see, you can either click on that option one more time. Uh, you can see you could just show principal paid. You could just show interest or you could do net worth. And then click on the reinvestment tab again. I just want to call out to any loan officers. That, guys, this is when you start to become a strategist. And in every refi that you do, you should be doing column A is your current loan. Column B is the refi, lower rate, lower monthly payment. And column C is you lower your payment, but you prepay your mortgage. So you're always showing people strategies to build wealth with real estate faster. Are you doing that, Taylor? I didn't know that was a button, so no. <laughs> yeah, so what you could do on a refi, uh, you could, you'll see in where it says principal reduction. See that little um, editable tab, principal reduction? No, a up top. Yeah, there you go, right there. So if you don't do anything, because it wouldn't be relevant here, but let's say it was a refi in column three, you could put like $200 a month, like put 200 in there just to see what happens. Okay, now go to a different tab, scroll down to the bottom real quick. You'll notice, no, no, don't, don't fill that out. Anyways, you'll notice right there where it says it will pay off their home in 25.38 years. Do you see that in yellow, right underneath the 200? Oh, uh, yeah. So if they pay $200 a month, they'll pay it off in 25.83 years instead of 30. That's exactly. good to know. Yeah. Exactly. So anyways, go ahead and delete that out. One more thing I want to show everybody while you're doing this. Uh, go ahead and close this field out. I want to, I want you to click and show Click in the upper right-hand corner. You see where there's a little notepad, a little pen? Upper right-hand corner, right below sign out. Yep, click on that. Every single screen, guys, you can either go to live highlight. So if you click live highlight. But I want you to click on video because it sounds like you add a lot of videos. Mm -hmm. Are you adding video to all of them? Yeah. Click OK. So you, you would click OK. And now it's going to give her the option to either create the video on her mobile phone, on her desktop, or an audio which, which option are you usually picking? A web browser. Okay, so don't click it right now. But I, I, I just want to impress a on everybody that you, adding video is a must. Why don't, why don't you uh, stop sharing your screen real quick? Okay. Well, actually, keep one more thing before you stop sharing. Go back to the advice engine. Go back. There you go. And now in the upper right-hand corner, it says settings. Click on settings real quick. I want to, I want you guys to see we've gamified everything. So you can see she is a purple belt. Uh, she's done, um, let's see, 102. Actually, you should be a brown belt. Oh, you've got 96. That's 96. Yeah. So click on that just to the right of what, yeah, click on that little highlight right there. Oh. But you'll see that she has four reports to go until she's a brown belt at 100 TCA. So First of all, for three months. I feel having, like a purple belt. Yeah, for being the first year in the mortgage space and you're going to be a brown belt and the pace you're on, you could probably be a black belt by the end of the year. Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. You're killing it. Thanks. All right, let's quit sharing your screen right now. Okay. So I, I want to hear the video. You say you're putting a one minute-ish video. You're telling people to click on it. What, is that, what does that one minute video sound like? Hey Dave, great talking to you earlier. I'm really excited to help you get pre-approved and explore all your financing options. We're going to dive in and figure out the best option for your needs. So here's options for 20, 25, 30% down on a 30-year fixed. And then here's an option for a 15-year fixed. I want to point out there's a 15-year analysis that tells you the total amount of interest that you'll pay. And there's also a short-term five-year analysis. I want you to review those. Next to summary, there is a button that says more info. I want you to click on that. 
It'll break down your payment to show you what I'm using for estimated taxes and insurance. And I also want you to click on closing costs. So you have an idea of what those are. You know, at a $400,000 sales price, I'd estimate your closing costs to be between eight and 10,000. There's other ways we can structure your loan, but this is where I want to start. Something like that. Love that. So a couple of things I want to call out. Notice that she said the client's name back. So she's yeah. speaking to them. Hey, Dave. Hey, John and Sue. You noticed it, right? The next thing she did, she framed what their goals were. You know, yeah. like within 10 seconds, they know that she listened to me. And you notice that she was smiling. Like, you know, she listened to me. She likes me. She's paying attention. And then she framed it quick. She didn't get into too many nuances and details to where they're confused. She yeah. just kept it high level. Then I've got some great stuff here. Say you're closing one more time. What do you usually say like in the last 10 seconds? How do you, how do you close out these, these videos often? Um, I don't know. I'd have to watch one. I, <laughs> I don't know what I say. No, no worries. <laughs> like, I really I, have no idea. I, I would push and propose to everyone, be intentional. This is, a, okay. this is an opportunity where you can really um, improve efficiencies and effectiveness. So I don't want you to overplay it, but if it's a client that you know loves to text and you want to make it easier, hey, you could just text me, you know, whether you want to go forward with A or B. If you know it's a client that you need to spend more time with, hey, and you know they'll use text, text me your next opening and I'll get on, you know, Zoom or I'll get on Mortgage Coach Live and I'll w walk you through this. So just be, I guess I would say intentional. By the way, uh, Dan Keller just said, good work. And, Hi, Dan. Yeah. And, <laughs> And Dan just said, rising star, this is a great interview. Um, all newer loan officers should use Mortgage Coach. Yes, Tony, I agree with you, brother. Uh, what, what about you, Taylor? Do you think all new loan officers should use Mortgage Coach? Yeah, I wish I started it sooner. I'm, I'm so stubborn. Like, poor Tony coaching me. I feel like I push back on everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're strong-willed, and that's what makes you yes. a, a good leader. You're firm in your opinions. But, you know, that's powerful because once you get your values, you know, your why, I'm sure you just, you do it. You're like a machine. And so, so let's, I want to go back to where I asked you, how did you get started? And you said someone showed me and then I did it, but I'm, I'm sure the first one, two, three TCAs was not easy. Like how long? No, I wasn't sure if I did it right. I would like match everything up and encompass to make sure it looked normal uh, but now, I mean, after I've done a few, like what is the first one a white belt? Yeah, first 20. Yeah, so maybe after your white belt, it's easier and faster. But when did it click for you though? Because usually it's somewhere between seven and 12 times where- I would agree with that. You think seven it's seven and 12. or 12? Seven yeah. and 12? Yeah, it was pretty uncomfortable at first and I felt pretty awkward with the videos, but I started getting good feedback on them. I did them anyways, but I got good feedback from the clients because it's just nice to have an actual human just saying like, click the more info button. It breaks your payment down. Otherwise someone's just looking at this report and they're like, I, what am I looking at? So I think it just adds a human touch. What about your first, let's go back to your first three videos. Did you? I'm not showing them. <laughs> well, I know, but did, when you did them, did you go back and watch them? No. <laughs> how, how much easier is it for you now, like to do a video versus the first? Oh, one? super easy. Yeah, like last night I sent one out before we left. My assistant and I were doing a file review and I'm like, one second, I just have to do this video really quick. Like it'll take me 58 seconds. And so like he's sitting right there and I just like quickly did my video sent it and then we finished our file review. So it's like one and done. I don't watch them. The first few tries, I watched them and re-recorded like 10 times. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't send that to anyone, but it's gotten a lot better. Yeah, no, no doubt. The first time you do anything, it's tough. Uh, so, so here's the thing, guys. I am looking for more success stories of new loan officers killing it with Mortgage Coach. I, about three weeks ago, I interviewed Alex Cook uh, Alex is a new loan officer. I think it's on his sixth month and he's going to close 20 loans this month. Check out that interview. I'll put a link down below. Uh, do you, do you watch any of the interviews in our YouTube channel or are you in our I just joined. I didn't know there was a Facebook group. I think I just got the welcome thing today. 
Well, so yeah, I'm ready to get immersed in all of this and learn a lot from everyone. I just was told, I just, like I said, I told Tony, I'm like, I'm getting like such good feedback and like new agents, client referrals, like so, so many new opportunities because of this tool. So I told Tony that and that's why he connected me to you. But um, yeah, that. still pretty well, new. <laughs> before we wrap up, you mentioned you're getting feedback from agents. Uh, yeah. What do you, what do your agents like about it? They all just say, wow, <laughs> no one else is doing this. Um, I copy them on the email that goes out to the client and the agents are just like, wow, this is really professional. So I had a new agent um, two weeks ago and she's referred me four clients because of mortgage coach. Wow. Really? Yeah. She, she, she was really you. impressed. She, yeah, she was really impressed with the mortgage coach presentation and, She's like, you know, with the digital age and not being able to meet people in person as often, this type of tool is really helpful. And she said it made her look good because she referred me to her clients and she was just really impressed. So, I love that. You and that's happened with a lot. And clients, I had an agent refer an agent who referred a client and the client referred her coworker and the coworker referred her mom. So I just got like this whirlwind of new deals in like a week, it was awesome. And you think Mortgage Coach was a part of that? Because they liked my presentation. Oh, yeah. Love yeah. that. That story yeah. is magic. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah. So what, how, how, when and how do you describe Mortgage Coach to a realtor? Like, we, we, how did you, how did this realtor even know about it? I mean, obviously you're CCing them. But I don't, you're... yeah, I don't talk, like, it's not a selling point that I'm currently using to talk to realtors. I just try to get them to like me. I like to think I'm pretty likable, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I just copy them on the presentation and then to them, it's like a surprise. Plus NAF has all of our co-branding stuff for seven years. That's so like another cool surprise that they get. Anyways, That's cool. uh, yeah, the, the realtor sees it and then their client tells the realtor that they're impressed with this loan officer, especially if it's a new realtor that gives them three LOs and I'm the only one that gives them four options in a video that will make you stand out. I so like the it. client raves about me, the realtor raves about me, the realtor tells another realtor, that realtor refers clients. And it's like in the past few months, it's just, that's how my business has grown. I so I'm it. like so excited. <laughs> well, you've got, and you've got so much opportunity. So one, one suggestion on how and when you frame mortgage coach with new realtors, it's about communication. Like yeah. every realtor will tell you communication, communication, communication is important. And really, I've never heard that. Right. <laughs> and, and when you, when you tell them about mortgage coach, you put it in the context. Well, let me show you how I communicate to every borrower that you give me. This is, this is how I communicate. So it's effective for them and it's effective for you. So put it in the context of that. Yeah. Um, one, one last thing. Are you getting many referrals from your active clients in process? Yeah. Like how, how many referrals are you getting from your active clients? Um, I think like in the past couple of weeks, half of my clients have referred a new client to me. Boom. And that's more than I was getting before because I was like too chicken to ask for referrals. I'm getting coached on that. But um, yeah, it's well, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if you haven't heard this idea, I'm going to share a strategy, which I've shared a lot. And if, if you're not getting just a crazy amount of referrals from current clients in process, you're, you're just losing tons of money. So here, here is my opinion on the best way to do it. There's a one minute and 52 second video from Jeremy Forcier. And, and here's the key. The best time to ask for a referral from a client in process is when they say thank you. So whether it's at clear to close, whether it's a pre-approval, whether it was when they got their TCA, they're like, thank you, yeah. this is great. Like, when they say thank you, this is the script. And, and I would recommend you even email it. Is we love helping you or I love helping you. Uh, can you help me with something? My goal this year is to work with more people I like. Can you introduce me to two people that you think I should know and I can help? And, and guys, with rates as low as they are right now, everybody knows someone. So the takeaway is when they say thank you, you ask for the referral. I like that. You like that? Uh-huh. Well, report, report back. It sounds like you're doing pretty okay. good already, but uh, implement that little, that little nuance and 
hopefully you'll be active in our Mortgage Coach Facebook group and we'll, I'll be interviewing you again. Sound good? Sounds good. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm not done. One last question. Speaking to every other new loan officer out there, so you're closing, you're talking to, literally there's thousands of loan officers that will probably either watch this video, see it on social media. What, what advice do you have to new loan officers? It's their first year uh, as a full-time producer. Any, any thoughts? Hmm. Talk on the phone. Uh, don't email, I think, when you're talking to clients or you're talking to realtors and if you have to give news, whether it's good or bad, you can make the good news sound really awesome over the phone. Like, just like, oh my gosh, we locked in at 3.25. And they're like, yeah, I mean, the phone is way better than email. And same for bad news. I think it's easier to just have a conversation with someone. And I think it's better for service levels and better for referrals. No, no doubt. And, and video, what do you think about video? They should be doing videos? Yes. Absolutely, right. especially if you're not meeting clients in person. I think video is the next best thing. Yeah, and so you're doing the mortgage coach video for everyone. Are you doing any yeah. other videos? Are you doing text video? Or are you doing bomb bomb video? I do Zoom. You Zoom. I set up Zoom meetings, yeah. So you do a lot of Zoom meetings. So yeah. new loan officers, I hope you heard that. Get on the phone. I mean, nothing wrong with email for some things, but the more you can connect yeah. with people, they can hear your voice, they can mm -hmm. see you, video, it's, yeah, it's building a relationship. Yeah, that's how you do it. So yeah. guys, I hope you got value from this. If you liked this interview, give it a like. If you loved it, love it. Uh, if you have questions for me or Taylor, put them in comments, whether you're watching this in YouTube or our Facebook group, uh, we'll make sure we answer your questions. And Taylor, thank you for your first uh, mortgage coach interview. <laughs> and I can tell that uh, this probably won't be the last one. Yeah, I'll report back. All right. Take care. Really appreciate it. Thank you it. too. All right. Bye now.